As a pitcher, you want to go out there and you want to, you know, I know this sounds kind of goofy. You want to go out there and you want to think as little as possible, to be perfectly honest with you. You know what you do. You know how you're going to try and attack hitters. And you want your catcher to be on, on the same page with you. So when that happens, there's not a whole lot of thinking going on. You both know what you're trying to do. You get on the mound. You, you get set. The catcher gives you a pitch. You go. When, you're, when your catcher's not on the same page with you, now nah, you got to start trying to massage him through the game a little bit, and you start doubting yourself a little bit because in your mind, if you know you want to go somewhere or throw a pitch and your catcher's not on, on, on the same page with you, now you start to have those thoughts of, okay, well, is, is the pitch he wants to throw the better one or is the pitch that I want to throw the better one? So kind of the less you can ha have those little uh, inner doubts, so to speak, the better. And I think for... For a catcher, what makes catchers really good, really, really uh, good game callers in my mind is that catcher that knows what you do as a pitcher, knows what your strengths and weaknesses are, and men melds that with what a hitter scouting report is and tries to combine those two things because it's not always about attacking a hitter's weakness. Yeah, you, you know what a hitter's weaknesses are, but that may not match up with you. Like for me, for instance, if, I'm a, if, a, if a hitter's a, a bad breaking ball hitter, I don't throw a lot of breaking balls, so that really doesn't come into my game plan very much. I'm going to find out if he can hit my changeup. I'm going to find out if he can hit my my fastball, those kinds of things. So I think it's an important mix, mix of, of combining what a hitter's weaknesses are, what your strengths are as a pitcher, you know, being on the same page with doing all that. And then lastly, you know, you hope the guy that you're th is a third set of eyes as a pitching coach. You want him to understand your mechanics and, and what you look like when it's right. So if things aren't, aren't very good on a given day or you're off a little bit, he has some suggestions on, on what he sees to try and fix that.